bump node is used as a replacement for using something like vector displacement because you don't have enough geometry or you want to use EV, something like that. As you can see, the, the lights are bouncing off this, this mesh in a natural way, and this is because after the displacement, the normals are recalculated. So, right, the normals are just like pointing perpendicular to the surface. So, what happens when we get rid of the displacement? Well, those normals are all now pointing up because the mesh is flat. To fix this, we can plug our height value into a bump node and plug that into the normal of whichever shader we're using. You can see that the lights are now acting as if the mesh was displaced. It's, the shadows aren't going to be cast because the mesh isn't displaced, but at least the sh shading on the mesh itself will be sort of accurate. So how does this bump node work? Well, let's say you start out with a mesh like, sorry, a mesh like that. And it has like a normal. And then you add a height map to it. So now the mesh looks like this. What is the new normal if you know like the height at each point. What you can do is, for example, if you want to know the new normal at this point, you can look at the height map at that point, so that would be here, and at the point next to it, so the pixel next to it, and you draw like a line between those two heights, and then you look at the vector perpendicular to that, that will give you the new normal. And you do the same for every point. So, in essence, the normal node has to, or the bump node rather, has to take two copies because since this is a 2D example, but in 3D you need to go in the x and y direction to take a sample there of the height map. So what it will do is it will look at the nodes that are plugged into it, the node tree, and make essentially three copies or two copies then offset the input coordinates by a little bit in the x and a little bit in the y to calculate these um, tangent lines and then take the normal to it so there are some other sockets so instead of just using the mesh normal you can plug in your um, already calculated normal or a different normal and then these two sliders here the distance so you can see that here, the distance is the same as just adding a multiply node um, before your height map or after your height map. So depending on this value, it's the same as changing this. The only difference is if you change this, it only happens to calculate it once. Well, this, for this one, it gets duplicated because it's part of the node tree. And then the invert is just um, the same as putting like a minus sign here. And basically what that does is instead of making the normals here point up they will point down so we would get the normals on the inside here and then finally the strength is just a mix between the input normal and the resulting normal from the bump node so it's the same as this factor here is the same as this strength so that's the bump node